Hey everybody, it's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate SDR Uno's noise blanker function. Let me launch SDR Uno. It's a little bit late in the evening. It's 10.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I should have plenty of wideband noise for this demonstration. All right, let's launch SDR Uno. Let's enable the RSP1A. Let's click play and let's see if we can find any wideband noise. Alright, let's mute this and let's uh let's see what's happening on let's see what's happening in the spectrum. Okay. Noise, lots of it. It's starting from about two do 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 one point six five all the way up to Up to about 4.2. Let's go further up the band and see if we have any other noise. No, Spectrum looks pretty good. The antenna I'm using, by the way, is a W6 LVP loop. It's indoors. It's on the ground floor. And it actually works really well. It works well for me here. I have antenna restrictions, so it's the best I can do. All right, let's uh, get back to the noise. This is wideband noise and it's wiping out the spectrum from 1.7 to about 4.2. There are definitely signals there. I can't see them because the noise is, is totally taking over. So let's, uh, let's unmute this. Let's actually go to CHU Canada 3.330. We will place it in upper sideband. We will unmute the audio and let's see. Okay, you can you can hear it. Now let's get rid of this noise. Let's uh, pull in the EX control panel down here, and let's enable the wide noise blanker. You have two options available. You have the narrow, and you have the wide. I use the wide. Default setting is 190, so 190. So you want to slowly adjust this slider down ever so slightly and keep your eye on the spectrum over here. And there it goes. Big difference and we're seeing other... This could be other noise. Could be... Uh, I don't know what it is. Let's adjust, and there's a tremendous difference in the spectrum. Let's disable it, and let's re-enable it. Noticeable difference. Now the default zero is uh, 190, so we'll put it back at the default level, uh, at the default setting, not the level. And let's see if we can go further down a little bit further down and see if there's anything happening. We'll zoom in a bit. We'll re-enable the wideband noise blanker and make an adjustment. Now just so you guys know, let me mute this. Uh, this noise blanker is not going to cure all the noise this this noise is probably coming from my neighbors it could be from my own cfl lights it could be from led lights it could be from uh, neighbors television it could be it could be basically anything this noise blank noise blanker is not a, a cure-all setting it's either going to work or it's not going to work but it's absolutely worth a try so let's uh let's make sure it's enabled let's make some adjustments and see if we see any stations okay there's one right here let me unmute it. That sounds like uh, doo -doo -doo. I don't know what that is. It's not Link 11. Or is it? Not too sure what that signal is. I believe it might be Link 11. You guys let me know in the comments what you think that signal is. Let's try to find the station. I'm 
not too much going on in the lower band. Let's zoom out and take a look. Alright, we got a station here. And let's disable the noise blanker. Alright, the noise is coming through with the station. And when I enabled the noise blanker, it totally took out the noise and brought the station in perfectly. Let's make an adjustment to the gain. And let's make sure that our EX control panel is visible. Yeah, I think that is link 11. That's CHU over here. Let's see what this is. That's a more station. That's FT8. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the FT8. Let's uh, lower this just a hair. Alright, and let's disable the noise blanker on the next on the next pass. I think it's seven six. No, it's seven four. Where's the station when you need one? Alright, here's a good one. That's possibly Gander. Over here we have some... Okay, now we'll disable the noise blanker and let's see how that station sounds. Now it's a pretty strong, a pretty strong station so he might come above the actual crackling. I can still hear that crackling in the background, so let's enable the noise blanker again. Tremendous difference. Let's see if we can find a weak station. Okay, rather weak. All right, let's disable it. And let's see if we can recover any audio. Eh. So, so. Let's re-enable it. It's night and day. All right, guys, that wraps up, uh, that wraps up this video with the noise blanker feature within SDR Uno. I'll see you guys in the next video. 7-3.